Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of the Q990C. This is a very large box, by the way. It came through that door. And this is how the box looks. This is direct from Samsung. So I'm gonna go ahead and open and start taking stuff out. All right, so I open it up and then it has this layer of styrofoam protecting the sound bar that is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the sound bar and then I'll keep showing you what's inside. So I took out the sound bar. There's this piece of styrofoam we're gonna take out. And then I think this is probably going to be, let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is just blank space void. Um, it, the box has to be long obviously because the sound bar is longer than the subwoofer and the satellite speakers. So that's empty space. Let's see what's over here. Also empty space. So here's probably the subwoofer. Yeah, that's a subwoofer. So we'll open that up in a second. And then here are the satellite speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up those straps. And then I'm gonna put the sound bar right there. So that sound bar right there is my Vizio. Um, that's a Dolby Atmos 5.1.2. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a review comparing the Q990C against that Vizio soundbar. Obviously this is a 11.1.4, which is gonna, it should blow it out of the water technically, but we'll see. So we'll, we took off the strap. We wanna lay it down on the side and then take off this styrofoam. And then we see the individual satellite speakers right there. I'm gonna take those out. We're gonna do the same thing with the sound bar. Um, I think for this one, we're gonna wanna lay it down on this side and then take out the strap. Um, before we do that, let's take a look and see what's in this accessory box. Let me open this up. All right, so open up this little accessory box. Here's like some instruction manual, which I'll show you guys later. And then here we have the different power codes um, and we do have an HDMI. I hope this is a 2.1 HDMI, probably 2.0 since it's soundbar doesn't support 2.1. We have the remote and then it does come with some um, generic batteries. These are AAA. So we'll set this on the side for now. And then we're gonna look at the subwoofer and I'm gonna take this out. All right, so here we have the subwoofer, and then here we have the sound bar. We have the satellite speakers over here. And then we're gonna take a look at this manual right now. Um, so that just shows that you can mount it on the wall. I'm not gonna be doing that because my, my TV is mounted to the wall. So if this is behind or the TV is over the sound bar, it's gonna affect the Atmos. Um, we're just gonna take a look. I just wanna make sure that the cables, the power cables, it isn't like one specific to another. So let me take a look. So looking at this, it, it looks like they're all just the same. So right now I'm just gonna plug in everything and then um, I'll bring you guys along. So yeah, all these power cables, the, sound, the HDMI I'm not gonna open, but these power cables, um, they all look the same obviously. One's for the sound bar, one is for the subwoofer, one is for the side surround and the other left and right side surround. Um, I w it's very odd, but I would have preferred if the sound bar had connections to the surround speakers. Th that's just because my current um, system is set up that way and I don't have that many outlets. So my sound bar is here, it, it goes up to that one and it goes up to that one. And with, you know, power outlets, I don't have that many. So I'm gonna probably gonna need an extension for this, but you know, there's positive and negatives that come along with this. Now, some people say, oh, I wish it was battery powered. I would have hated battery powered because then you gotta start charging stuff, buy batteries. That's, I, I would, I just prefer wires. Um, but yeah, let me connect everything. All right guys, so I connected the sound bar. It looks very nice very nice 
Um, I just connected the HDMI from the ARC port to the HDMI into my Google TV. And then I plugged in the, the subwoofer. It does seem to be working. It did auto pair. And then also the satellite auto paired. And then as well as this satellite. So right off the bat, they just paired up, which is awesome. Um, and then I had the control right now. Let me find the control. So this is a look at the control. Um, let me see if it focuses. Um, so here's the control. And I can change, you know, sound modes and stuff. Um, I'm obviously going to you know tinker with it i'm gonna look at the app smart things app good thing i do have a samsung phone which this still works without samsung phones but i'm sure there's a little bit more little features here and there and this is gonna work more seamless i don't have a samsung tv this is a hisense um here's my old soundbar it's done a very good job very good 5.1 system um a little bit of a dolby atmos here and there with the 0.2 but there's no real detail in the Atmos. Um, it does encompass you in a bubble of sound. Obviously, that's not ideal to have them at the top, but it, it still, you know, it still does its job on a 5.1 setup. Um, but again, the review and the comparison will be coming soon. So uh, do stay tuned, okay?